us here is georgia from humble voice of tarot and this is going to be your reading for the fourth week of april okay uh, this week i've decided to record it outside because it's really beautiful weather uh, although sun just came behind the tree so you can't really see it now but until now the sun was beautiful uh it's around 25 degrees over here and um you might be hearing during the uh, reading a lot of beautiful nature and animals and I think that a really important uh, energy around us because animals and nature are the most innocent, pure and beautiful part of our life and it's really important that we charge the energy from their innocent and pure beauty i'm just in love with animals okay and i love to spend most of the time with animals and nature so i hope you will enjoy okay anyway libra so what i'm going to do i'm going to put it so you can see okay so okay so you can see it yeah? So Libras, I'm going to be using for this week, I'm going to be using the Psychic Tarot for the Heart by John Holland and I'm going to be using the Spellcaster's Tarot, okay? So let's go for it Libras. So my beautiful angels, what's going on with Libras in love the fourth week of April? What's going on with Libras in love the fourth week of April? What's going on with Libras in law the fourth week of April? Which way? Second, it kind of went, didn't, didn't it? Mm. Why, why, why? Okay, now we are. There you go. So what's going on with Libras in law the fourth week of April? The sun is only on the very small corner behind the house what's going on with Libras in love the fourth week of April I love the smell of the cards what's going on with Libras in love the fourth week of April You know the smell of a, some cards, they're just amazing. Do you also love it? Or the new books or paper? I love it. There you go, the music going on. <laughs> Okay, Libras, so let's go for it. So you have a rest and reconsider, which is a nine of wands. You have a sadness and isolation, which is three of swords. And you have a moving on, is an eight, eight of cups. Oh, Libras. You've got a hermit, which is hermit. <laughs> hermit, yeah, sure. You've got Ace of Cups and Four of Pentacles. Libras, Libras, Libras. You could be dealing either with Virgo or anyone really. You don't have many signs here to show, so I would say it could be anyone. Uh, really or Virgo 
what I feel is that you going through some great sadness. You're trying to maybe move on from something or someone. Maybe you're trying to break up with somebody or move on. Daddy! You're trying to move on or break up. You know, my dog keeps uh, begging my neighbors for biscuits every day it's so embarrassing you know every day he sits there and he barks at them to call them so they give, give him a biscuit if you're trying to call him back he doesn't care he wants his biscuit biscuit he's so addicted to those biscuits oh anyway that's my dog that's him you see oh you can see the culprit wait let's see you see, that's the culprit. Daddy, not addicted. Addicted to your biscuits. <laughs> oh. Anyway, they are cute, aren't they? Okay, sorry, Libras. I guess I just want to make you feel a little bit more positive because your cards are quite negative and I want you to feel a little bit, a little bit positive, you know? You definitely seem like you are healing from some heartbreak and you are trying your best to move on okay you are trying to isolate yourself maybe and just uh, trying to uh, be dealing with it on your own by yourself yes maybe it's something really painful affected you really much and uh, maybe it could be ter could have been third party situation maybe you got betrayed or cheated on yeah and uh, maybe there was somebody new which make this uh, heartbreak uh, cause this heartbreak maybe somebody third and you got really hurt by them disappointed Maybe you're trying to move on to a new chapter of your life, but it's really difficult. Maybe that's why this nine of wands and the hermit, yeah, it doesn't have to be, it could be Virgo, which you're dealing with, which uh, is quite uh, not communicating with you and totally cut themselves from you. Or it could be you having these attributes, these energies, and trying to basically just heal in isolation. You can't, because you've got two cards which represent isolation, yeah? In this deck, this three of swords really represent as well the sadness and isolation. So you are probably the one who decided just to be on your own, just to be... <sighs> healing your heart in isolation Pr probably don't feel like seeing anyone don't feel probably to do anything maybe there's also some kind of depression maybe you are slowly trying to move on and towards the end of the week you will be one step forward to move on there it's gonna be better it's gonna help to uh, move on from the sadness okay from the bad energies that are surrounding you at the moment Libras you seem to really uh, feel uh, that there is no way out at the moment yeah you seem that there is this four of pentacles you seem maybe uh, stuck with what you love maybe you cannot move on because you this four pentacles mean that you are still trying to hold on to it you're still trying to hold on to it which prevents you from moving on maybe you're still uh, hoping that things are going to get better maybe you're still hoping that things can improve things can get better yeah but I would say I don't see that they would, Libras. You're probably still going to be uh, stuck 
if you're not gonna find the the strength to move on at the moment this week is only mommy nobody uh, yeah this week I don't think Libras you you probably still this week going to uh, fight with this pain okay you still probably be struggling to move on but towards the end of this week I think it's gonna be easier okay maybe you just need to be with in yourself just isolating isolate yourself go go within yourself okay try to contemplate contemplate on what happened what is going on in your life at the moment contemplate on the fact what is it that you really want okay and what is it that they gave you or didn't give you and now and then try to realize are they really what you want in your life do you really want your life to head this way do you really want you and your heart to be constantly in pain you know libras if i can advise you what i see from these cards the tarot really advises you move on there is a time to move on now there's a time to stop holding on on something which there no longer is okay because if you manage there's gonna be a new bright new breath of fresh love you will start realizing that you do matter okay and that there are people maybe there's already somebody new around you but you because you're so stuck with yourself with your pain you don't see them but there's probably already somebody offering you a cup of love somebody new not the old somebody new but you're so stuck and not are able to move on from it so you're not able to see what they are offering you you know libras so just try to look more within you contemplate consider what is the best for you and then try to slowly step by step move on from the old pain old relationship because i'm telling you there is a new energy coming in new energy which is worth trying don't let it run don't let it disappear don't let it vanish okay Open your eyes, Libras. So, Libras, I'm sorry to uh, see such negative energies. I hope your heart will heal soon. I wish you all the best. I'm sending you all the energy from here, this beautiful nature, this beautiful trees, these beautiful animals. Okay? This beautiful lamp and flowers just try to enjoy the life around you okay libras take care listen if it resonated with you please give me thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and please comment show me tell me uh tell me your feelings and sh tell me some feedback if it didn't resonate check your moon sign venus sign or rising sign sometimes that resonates more okay so have a beautiful day beautiful week and i hope you're going to find your way okay love to you bye